Okay, episode six of Seven Mortal Sins. Man. I don't know. I think this this episode, because it follows after the last episode, and I love that one so much, it just seemed to be lacking. Because it I don't know, it didn't it didn't go the way that I thought it would. Like when they first started it, it seemed like, oh, this is gonna be an awesome episode. But as it went on, it just started to feel like a drag. And maybe that's because I don't know. Uh, freaking Belfagor, I think was her name. The Sloth. <laughs> She's not as interesting as I thought she would be. Like, she was a bit of a dull character, which actually should work for who she is. <laughs> but it doesn't make for a good episode of this show. I think she needs to have someone with her playing off of her personality to make it interesting. And that might be what was the downside of this episode, because everyone was, like, separated. Each character had to stand on their own, and they're not very interesting separate. Together, stuff gets hilarious and awesome. But separate is like, eh, meh. Like, if this show wasn't based around three characters, I don't think it would stay interesting for very long. And, goodness, it was, I don't know, it was, it was fairly entertaining at spots, but overall, this has probably been one of the, um, weakest episodes <laughs> for this series. Like, certain things were just, I don't know, it was, it was dull. Which is crazy to say when the episode was based around a, a video game. Like, how do you make that duel? Even when, um, when she first, when Lucifer first got pulled into the world and they showed this colorful looking play space, it, I don't know, it seemed dull there too. Like, all the objects were there, but it didn't seem like, huh. Oh, I guess it just wasn't connecting for me. And then when they went into the fantasy world, I was like, okay, well, I guess the episode's gonna pick up here. It didn't. It was still dull. And I guess that's the most upsetting thing about this episode, is that no matter what happened, it was still dull at the end of the day. And that is just unfortunate. Because all these episodes, even the ones before that weren't all that great still weren't dull. But, it's whatever. With this episode, we we had them going up against Belphegor, and my phone is ringing. I am going to just silence that. Anyway, <laughs> with this episode, we had them going up against Belphegor, and Belphegor dragged in well, she dragged in all three of them, but you didn't know Levy was there until later. Which, I just assumed it'd be another one of those episodes where we wouldn't even see her. Or see her do anything. Which we barely saw her do anything, but still. I figured it'd just be a levy episode. Because sometimes they do that. Which is odd, because she kind of, you know, helps with the overall um, entertainment value of the show. But anyway... She dragged in Lucifer and gave her one of two choices, either be the Demon Lord or be the hero. And she chose Demon Lord, which, obvious. So, once that happens, you know, being a, a avid <laughs> anime watcher, video game player, and, you know, stuff like that, you kind of see where it's going. Like, if she drug in Lucifer and made her the Demon Lord... She was going to bring in Maria as the hero. And I assume she was going to bring in Maria and Levy as the hero. But then I thought about it. Obviously, when Levy saw it was um, Lucifer, she wouldn't fight anymore. So, yeah. Bringing in only Maria was the only logical option. So, 
she had Maria believe that this was some world that needed protecting from a demon lord. And since Maria's kind of dumb, let's just let's just be honest here. Maria's kind of dumb. <laughs> she believed it and went in there with her lingerie armor. I don't I don't understand how to have more defense than the giant metal armor, but whatever. In video games, sometimes these things happen. It's just the way it is. And she was she had a magic sword and whatnot. She was extra OP. <laughs> but Lucifer still wrecked her when they first met. And then Maria turned into poison ivy. <laughs> Because she went into the forest and did training, but all she had on was plant panties, you know, and it was, eh, oh, it was a wild little long training montage. It had a song. Song was not as good as the previous songs in this show, but it was still decent. And, like, literally she became poison ivy because the plants were apparently poisonous. <laughs> so she was itching <laughs> while she was wearing it. Oh, man. Yeah, but this was... Huh. It had some good points. Like, that whole montage was some pretty decent points, but... You could see where this one was going. Real easily. Like, they kind of lead you in a certain direction in the other episodes, but... With this one, you just knew how it was going down. Especially after Maria got defeated and... Belphegor took her off for training. I said, well, she's going to come back, beat Lucifer, but not, uh, what's the word, finish Lucifer. <laughs> Don't know why I had a hard time thinking of finish, but I figured either she was not going to finish the fight with Lucifer after she, you know, had proven she was stronger and she was going to join up with her or she was just going to quit. I don't know. I, I, I that's just the logical way of things. It's kind of like um, back when Naruto was still a thing and you were getting close to the end and you saw Madara gaining all this power. Immediately, the thought was, well, you know, somewhere close to the end, Naruto and Sasuke are going to have to join forces. And that's how this story went. It was like, eh... At some point, Maria's going to join Lucifer. It's obvious. And they're going to defeat Belphegor. But it didn't fully go that way. Like, Maria did protect Lucifer, but she didn't technically join her, I guess. And Belphegor didn't actually get defeated. She just kind of quit. <laughs> she was upset and left. <laughs> uh, but overall, this was this was a fun episode. Huh. It was fun, for the most part. Like, oh, I still can't get over the dullness of it. But, mm, if you get past it and just pay attention to certain points, it can be a fun episode. Still, it's still the weakest episode of the series, though. And for that, it would get a 2.5. <laughs> 2.5. Man. Man. I wish it could have been better, but uh, I don't know. It's just, just I feel weird about this episode because it had so much potential because you were literally in a fantasy setting. It didn't take place in the real world, so they could do whatever they wanted. They could have had giant talking animals if they wanted to. It could have just got really strange in this episode, but it didn't. And that's why I'm saying it's dull, but still fun. Oh, man. Anyway, tell me what you guys thought about this episode. Hope you enjoyed this video. Peace out, and have a great day.